Bravo 6, going dark. Hello everybody, and welcome back to some Ready or Not. It is me, Zeus, bringing you guys Friday challenge number 18. This Friday's challenge is clearing the Cherryesa farm with just the M870. Now, before we get too super deep into this, I have a couple of questions to ask you guys. The first question is, do you know what the Mandela effect is? The second question is, what is the first day of the week? Now, I know these questions seem unrelated, but I assure you they are. I'll go ahead and answer the first question in the event you don't know what it is, and I want you guys to answer the second one in the comments, because I had a really weird realization. So, uh... I work in a gravel pit, you guys know this, I'm getting to the part of the year where we're actually like starting up, so I'm going to be busy, I'm going to have to start uh, pre-recording content, so this is actually the earliest I've ever pre-recorded any Friday challenges, I'm recording this on Sunday, uh, April 23rd. Now, uh, the Mandela Effect, back to back to the, you know, the subject at hand, uh, I was taught as a child that Sunday was the first day of the week. Now, uh, the Mandela Effect is basically where things are not how you remember them for some reason. Apparently it's because of time travelers. I don't believe it, because uh, one of the things that people who believe in the Mandela Effect use is the word Kit Kat, right? As in, like, Kit Kat bars. Um, without pausing the video, right, without cheating and going and looking it up, is Kit Kat, right, as in, like, Kit Kat bars, the, the chocolate bar, is it one or two words? Now, since I know that you cheated, because I am, in fact, a time traveler, I'm just going to let you guys know, it is not. It is not hyphenated, and, in fact, never has been. This was not a change of any kind. This was just never the case, and for some reason, people got it in their head that it was. So why is the whole fucking... The whole, like, army here. Oh! No, die, please! Why is, like, the whole farm down here? Damn. Man, caught me on a reload. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So, Kit Kat was never hyphenated. Uh, Bearstein Bears is, is spelled, like, Bearstain, basically, like, A-I-N. And a lot of people say that that wasn't the case. Um... Me, personally, I was, like, picking my nose and learning my ABCs, so I never paid much attention. I didn't care. But it's interesting to me that that's what, like, people will, like, swear by that. Uh, I'm in the Bearstein Bears category, because I'm pretty sure I'd remember, like, it being Bearstain. You know, that would be weird. But the weird part about the Mandela Effect is that uh, apparently it's caused by time travelers. They go back in time and change shit. It's like, what? Really? Like, like, oh, let's say that, the, uh, yeah, like the JFK assassination, right? Like that, that was a, that was an inside job by a time traveler. And, you know, it made the creator of Kit Kat bars so goddamn upset that he never put a hyphen. Like, really? Like you have the ability to travel through fucking time and your massive contribution, your thing that you're going to fix, you know, F forget undoing the Holocaust, forget, you know, discovering penicillin curing cancer, any of that shit. You know, you have endless time. You have literally endless time. You can go back and retain the information you have. So, forget all that. You're just gonna change Kit Kat? Really? That's why I find it so ridiculous. But, anyway. Um. Hang on, I'm, 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 I'm getting shot. There's another guy up here. The guy in the courtyard fighting me, bro. I'm just... Everybody wants a piece of Zeus right now. This door open before? I don't think so. I'm just wondering if the guy from the courtyard is going to push me or not. Because I still have to clear this front yard. Well, anyway, now that things have kind of simmered down, um, 
brings me to my second question that I said I want you guys to actually answer, and that is, what is the first day of the week? Uh, I was taught in school my entire, like, you know, elementary school career, uh, Sunday. Sunday is the answer to that. It is the first day of the week. Uh, apparently as an adult, I'm getting told that I'm a dumbass all the time, because apparently the first day of the week is Monday. Now, as I said, uh, it was just what I was taught, so I know it's not like a real Mandela effecty kind of thing, you know, where it doesn't matter. This isn't going to topple world governments or whatever the hell. Because apparently the Mandela effect only works in, you know, misspells and stuff like that, you know. It's just, there's something about it. But, um, yeah, I just wonder what you guys were taught. It was the first day of the week. Was it Sunday? Is it Monday? I can see his back, but I can't see him. You're going to notice I'm putting a lot of shots into legs, and that's because I've uh, I've learned that it's just not worth it to go for a headshot with the uh, shotguns. It just, you know, they're not super... They're, they're oddly accurate, but they're not that accurate. You know, they're not rifle accurate. So, it's just not worth it. Kills them all the same. You can get arterial bleeds, stuff like that. It, it procs pretty often. And then I don't really have to worry about vests too much. I'm still in kind of like the chest area. I'm going to die. Alright. But yeah, that was kind of all I had really had planned to talk with you guys about. Because I, I, I noticed it while I was... While I was uh, hitting record. Like, while I was setting up for this. Like, getting all my mods in check and all that stuff, you know. And by getting them in check, I mean, like, changing them. Is that a... I am so sorry about the Discord notification sound. I mean, not that you guys are very well immersed anyway. You know, just some... Some T1 operator decided that, like, yeah, I'm gonna become a fucking SWAT member. Tank a thousand bullets today, you know, for breakfast, because I'm hungry. And uh, be chatting about the fucking Mandela effect while, you know, killing terrorists. I mean, I'm sure that you guys are pretty well immersed, but... That guy and I played Ring Around the Rosie. How funny. Alright, we are going to have a very busy upstairs. That's not going to be fun. These are supposed to be nine bangs, so I'm kind of confused, but I'm also not. I mean, I imagine the mod that I put in probably broke the that again. There's somebody behind me. Quick, I'll we'll have a second. Pretty sure that guy is just down. I oh, I double killed him. That's that's actually okay. You know, I'm proud of myself for that. Shotgun lateral. Let's go. But yeah, if you guys are believers in the Mandela effect, uh, anybody who, like, already did know what it was and is already, like, a firm, you know, believer and studier of the Mandela effect, why is it always just small, you know, remedial shit that no one would care about? I.e. Kit Kat having a hyphen? Why is that always the, 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 the... That's always the first one that I get brought up, is that and the Bear Stain Bear as opposed to the Bear Steen Bear thing. We're not done. Somebody's just skulking around. Someone's out creeping. I haven't found them. It makes me nervous, actually, because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to, like, round a corner, chest bump somebody, my gun is going to go into high ready, and I'm going to die. I'm in danger. I also don't know where he's going to be, so... Learn together. A lot of us. 
I bet you he's still back in the house. I don't remember if it was this attempt or if it was a, the attempt before this. But I heard somebody open the door behind me. It might have been upstairs, but... Like I had just previously stated, I'm not confident if that was actually just a prior attempt. So, we're gonna go find out right now. Like, right, right now. That's another... Okay, so while I'm making my way over there, to just kind of keep it from being awkward and quiet... Uh, have you guys seen Super Troopers? That's a that's a damn solid movie. That's a that's a reference, by the way. So I'm sorry. I mean, I guess you know, spoiler alert or whatever, because it's only been out for like 20 years. But um, it's about cops, like these uh cops from Vermont, and they're basically close to Canada, and they're highway patrolmen or something. I actually can't remember exactly what their job title is. But basically, uh, they pull people over, and they have this this game that they play to see who can say the word "now" instead of "now" to uh, people that they pulled over. So, like, you know, give me your license, registration, stuff like that. It's just just goofy shit like that. It's nothing like malicious or anything of that nature, but it's always funny. Um, getting very nervous so I'm, I'm sorry if i'm gonna start talking less i'm gonna start hitting you guys with ums and uh and well there's no way he's all the way back at the beginning right there's like this whole fucking regiment i killed down at the bottom of these stairs there's no way he was one of these guys right that guy's dead i was gonna say it's not just bugs so it didn't just end now right But you know what, if I can't find the guy down here, I think it's safe to say that I, I mean, I, if you guys will accept it, that I won. Because, I mean, I can kind of just... There he is. It should be him. It's not him. Okay. I was going to say, if I'm able to just freely roam around the map like this, with, like, barely a care in the world, I mean, I came all the way back to spawn to find this dude. It's like, if I was able to just run my happy ass all the way back down here, I, I don't know where the last guy is, and I don't want to spend 45 minutes finding him, because that's not a fun video <laughs> for anybody, myself included, so. I'm trying to think where else I haven't cleared. I, I really do think that was it. As far as rooms and stuff go... I think eventually he should push. This last, the last enemy should push, because that's in the coding. But yeah, what the hell? There was like a hundred guys in just this stairway here. Odd. Odd stuff. But I know Super Troopers had a second movie come out. I have actually not seen it. So, if anybody has, and... I don't know, you want to let me know in the comments or whatever, you can just suggest that. And that's something, actually, speaking of the comments, I can do the YouTuber thing about now, because I'm sure there's not gonna be much left of this. Uh, but if you guys like these videos, like Ready or Not specifically, stuff like that, this is what I play. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. That actually helps out a ton. If you like this kind of content, so uh, just kind of me rambling. I also do very, like, super immersive ones where I won't say anything. I'll just kind of let the atmosphere of the level, you know, just just let it be spooky or intense or whatever it is. Um, things like that. If you guys like that, subscribe. I, I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So there's always something coming out. I give it kind of like a day to breathe so you guys don't just get bogged down with the whole, uh, you know, tactical shootery stuff. Um, Normally, I have myself on Do Not Disturb so that I don't have Discord notifications breaking the immersion. So that is a one-off. That will not happen again, and I again apologize for that. I hate when that happens. It just interrupts. It's inconvenient. I remember hearing a guy off to my right in here. At this point, I wish I brought a couple of Magnum rounds where I could just shoot into the air. You know, ring the ring the dinner bell. See where he's at. Just don't want to do that with the eight seventy too much. 
But yeah, I think I've cleared it all. I mean, I'm running back to places I've already been, just in a loop. You know, maybe, maybe this is like a Mandela effect guy, you know? Maybe, maybe he's just, he's in the future and the past at the same time. I was going to be really upset if he was just, like, this door was locked and he wasn't able to come out and take a fight. That would have ruined my day. Alright, we're going to do one last lap through all this, and then if I can't find him, we're just, we're calling it. I, I succeeded. We can all agree. All right. It's not going to... I don't feel good about it, but uh, either he's bugged out or he went home. Home and we skipped his shift at the uh, Chariesa. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they farm here exactly, but... Where did that guy go? Where did he go? Don't cross the rickety bridge. Because you'll get lost. Anybody who gets that reference? Legend of status? Huh. Maybe somebody's still alive. Weird. What a weird thing. I've never had this happen. Yeah. Looks like that's... Guys, that is it. I have been back through everywhere. So I'm going to call it. That's a victory. Success. Um, I hope you guys had a great rest of your day. And you know what? No. I'm not going out like that. I, mean, I ain't going out like that. Hold on. I'm going to hide in a corner. I'm going to hop into the old cheaty camera menu. And I'm actually going to block myself into a room so I don't get killed on, you know what I mean? Like, while looking for this guy. I'm going to go fly through walls. And I'm going to go find this dude. Hold on. Because there's got to be... I can't... There's no way... You know, I just ran through the whole map. So I'm actually just going to cut to when I find him. Uh, or if I find him. And I will see you guys in a second. I found him. So he's just down in the mines, down here. So unfortunately, I get a little bit of a of a cheaty thing, but yeah, so there was this hallway over here I kept looking down, but I never walked down. So yeah, now he's just down here. So I'm gonna... I still have to go get him now, which is the, the, the spooky part, because he very well could just lay me out. So, uh, yeah, at least, you know, I have a little bit of knowledge, you know, we have some, some powerful knowledge, I can just go get him. But, uh, yeah... As I was saying, I was doing the whole YouTuber thing. If you guys wanted to go, you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, I am incredibly inactive. I am astoundingly inactive on them. But I imagine they just, I don't know, it just helps. I'm not a social media guy. I've never really been a big fan of it. But, yeah, I think it, I think it helps out. You know, somebody, somebody sees me on there or something. I do a lot more Rainbow Six content and stuff like that for there. I have a bunch of clips and stuff. I'm planning on just uploading whatever clips I have left uh, every Saturday, just until I run out of clips, and then uh, probably put some Ready or Not stuff on there. I don't know. Because I actually have not played Rainbow in almost two weeks now. I haven't even launched the game. Uh, and it's not so much that I'm, like, over it. Like, I don't... Well, it's not that I don't, like, want to play it. I just I haven't had, like, a, had a want to play it, you know? just hasn't seemed... Fun. Homie almost actually laid me out. Wild. That is it. Okay. But anyway, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, you guys take it easy. Peace out.